Speak Dorian continues its slow assault on the Bahamas as we look live. In fact, it has been announced that there are deaths, five, at least five deaths there. And this is Freeport here. You see the wind and the rain there. This is a live look. Authorities are urging people to find something to float on and grab hammers if they need to to break out of their attics. And if that sounds extreme, consider this. Forecasters expect Dorian to drive a 23 foot storm surge onto parts of the Bahamas. And this is a deeply personal storm story for one of our own 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith was born in the Bahamas and here's what friends and family told her about the conditions there. Widespread devastation across the Abaco Islands after Hurricane Dorian slammed into the Bahamas as a Category 5 storm. Utility poles are down, streets are flooded and the roof of this building destroyed. The scariest part is that this storm is just sitting on the island is moving very, very slowly, I think one or two miles per hour. So people are concerned about how long this is going to linger around and how much flooding is going to happen. Bahamian journalist Kyle Joaquin is in Freeport, Grand Bahama. He says flooding is a major concern as a lot of the islands have low lying areas and Dorian is bringing torrential rain and strong storm surge. There are people in East Grand Bahama and West End who are dealing with extensive flooding. I mean, flooding up to their roofs, uh, people having to run up to the second story of their homes. We're getting um, reports of um, people standing on their kitchen counters, um, you know, putting their kids in kitchen cupboards. Some homes are submerged underwater, while others remain under the threat of rising water. Yeah, Abaco really got the brunt of Dorian. Um, it's devastating. Um, it, it can't even put it into words. And the sad part is a lot of them had to um, find shelter overnight. And so can you imagine running around in the dark trying to figure out where you're going? Your home has been destroyed. Bahamian Prime Minister Hubert Minnis said on Twitter, the devastation in Abaco is unprecedented and Grand Bahamians are still feeling the impact. The focus for the government right now, he said, is rescue, recovery and prayer. Dana Smith, 13 News Now.